The subject matter is Live Media Encoder 3.2.1 done by Adobe. Basically, I thought it would be kind of interesting if I just kind of turned this encoder on. For you folks that may have questions, I'm just going to share with you the way I'm broadcasting and the way I'm streaming. And I'll show you this application. But let me just show you my configuration settings. and Maybe it will help some of you out there. I don't know. But, okay. Right here, <laughs> in, in front of the camera right there, if you will, that's just me and my web cam right there. And you, you can turn this, let me get up in here. This is the input, this is what your camera's putting in on the encoder, and that's the output. That's what your camera's putting out. Is so. But right down in here is the controls for all that kind of stuff. You can, you can turn those preview panes on and off, and you can turn the audio little slider over here on and off. Okay, now if you just look at this part of your screen right here, basically you've got a left and a right, if you will. Let me move over here a little bit. The left side's for visuals or video, the right side's for setting, setting up your audio on this encoder. Okay, if you go right in here like this, you're going to see a preset that sets custom. The reason why it just defaults to custom you know, because you're going to set this guy, you know, I don't know, I hope this thing focuses up. Okay, you see this video right here? This is just recognizing the fact that I've got a Logitech camera. Format I'm using is H.264. You can use, what is it, BPN6 or whatever have you. Okay, my frame rate, my radio, video frame rate, I've got to set at 15 frames per second. And then there's the input size right there. You know, that's in pexels coming off the camera there, 320 by 240, okay? And I've got that box there, check, maintain aspect ratio. And my bit rate, i got to set at 350 there, and then there's the output size, 320 by 240. Because quite simply, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a standard ratio 4 by, what is it, 4 by 3 camera. Anyway, I don't have a wide screen camera. But you move over here to the right side here. Okay, let me find it. See if I can get my mouse in here. Wherever you got, you got to check audio because this is how you encode your audio. In my case, I got a mixer hooked up to my system here, so that's why you got the line in. Format you want to check here is MP3, and of course, you want to do stereo. I've got my sample rate up there quite high, as you can see 44100, and I'm broadcasting at a you know. On, on my MP4s, my MP3 files, I run out of iTunes. I'm doing 192 kilobytes a second. And this volume right here is just to turn up what you're doing in the encoder. It's kind of your own personal little volume slider, if you will. And that's all there is to it. And then over here, I got to see how long this file is getting. 3 minutes and 25 seconds. This is very important right here. you got to have this information here. And on this side... Simply, this is your output, and this is where you're broadcasting to. In my case, it's justcast.org, like that. And you, you got to get that FMS or RTMP address in there. And then you need this stream key right here. This is very important. You don't have that stream key, and you're not going anywhere. <laughs> so once you get this left-hand side all figured out, you just put your address in here, your stream key, and your... RTMP address, get that all in there, and you see right, let me see if I can get the mouse up here, see where it says connect right there. You know, you get on your website and you want to hit that connect, and of course before you start, start encoding anything, you got to hit that, you hit connect and then you hit that start button. Okay, and that's really about all there is to setting up this doggone thing, it's just kind of common sense kind of stuff. And down here is for like if you want to record to your desktop. But I, I don't plan on doing any of that kind of stuff with this goofy broadcasting. So, so here you go. Let's go up here and minimize this. You know, like I say, this is uh, Flash. What do we got here? Flash Media Live Encoder 3.2.1. Let's go over here and minimize this guy. And this is where I broadcast. I broadcast on JustCast.org. And there is my interface right there. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Now let me catch your Largo. 
So basically saying, you know, the deal is all I got to do is sign in right there and fire up this uh, encoder. Let me back off here just a little way so you can see what I'm doing. But that's my, uh, the portal I broadcast from. And of course, this data right here is all corresponding to that site right there, meaning justcast.org. So the way I get to roll in here, that connect button right there, all I do is I hit that. Once I get logged in here and everything, hit that star right there and you're off to the races. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Hope that made some sense because uh, this video is way long. I got to get gone. But that's how I got my stuff. I did a show last night. It worked out just fine and that's how I had everything set up. Hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching the video.